Hey guys, Russell here from your Pace team. This is Jamie here. This is Amy from the Pace team. And uh, we just made this video to uh, just hope you guys are having a good time writing your exams right now. I know it doesn't sound like it'd be great, but uh, I really hope that all the studying and all the, uh, the work that you put into it really pays off, and I hope the exams went really well. We're hoping that you guys are, are doing well in those, and we're just going to let you uh, know what's been going on in our lives because we haven't seen you this week. And also at Moet, we're preparing to do our second um, part of our Kingdom Principles in uh, Moet's Christian Club. Uh, we're excited about that. Last week we had a good, a good discussion on seek first the Kingdom of God, and this time we're going to be talking uh, about um, judge and be judged. The way we judge is the way that God's going to judge us, and we're going to get in a uh, whole little bit of that. And uh, yeah, so we also just wanted to let you guys know what we're, we're doing um, on our own, in our own team. Um, and going through the book of Roman. In the Bible, right now. Uh, chapter by chapter and taking some time uh, to look at that and what it implies in our life. And, well, I, I would encourage you guys to go through the book of Romans. It's a roller coaster. It's gonna blow your mind. I'm not even joking. Like Paul brings us to points of utter despair and like no hope, but always backs it up with that there's hope in Christ. Like Romans uh, one is how excited he is. That he wants to talk about or talk to the Romans and how stoked. Like he's never been had a chance to go see them, and finally gets a chance to go see them and speak to them. Romans two is about like God's wrath is going to be poured out on all of us. Like he's given us over to our own sinful desires. Um, he's allowed us to he's stepped back and said, Hey, fine, let's see what happens if you don't want me. Um, and then in Romans 2, it also will talk more about how he's right in doing so, how he's right in judging us. Um, even though it seems unfair to all the world, um, but to see the greater purpose in what he's doing and that there is a faith that, that uh, basically takes our sin away from us, our faith in Jesus Christ and what he did uh, for us on the, on the tree. So... And Romans 3 talks about God's faithfulness and how he's going to be faithful and how none of us are righteous. None of us deserve a relationship with him, but we can have that righteousness through faith in Jesus Christ. And he uses an example in Romans 4 with Abraham and how Abraham was faithful that God, out of his old body, Abraham and his wife Sarah were 70-ish years old, and God said, hey, I'm going to give you a son, and that son is going to be um, the... You, that, that's going to lead into the children of Israel, like the people that these Jews are descendants from. So believing that even in his old barren body, God was going to provide that. Um, it's a beautiful picture of how um, from death God brought life, just like in, uh, in the New Testament. Um, when Christ died, God brought him out, from re uh, resurrected him from the dead, how he has power over life, power over death. Um, and that we can have a hope in this um, uh, in this truth, and we can rejoice in this truth even in times of suffering. So Romans, like we're we're only part way through. There's still another eight, nine chapters to go, and we're excited, and we're going to keep you posted on what we're learning. And if you have any questions on that, let us know. Talk to us about it because we're that's what we're here for. Um, we also have our uh, conference coming up next week, so we're not going to see you again next week either. But um, we're real excited to meet up with you after that and uh, just hear about how life and things are going. So until then, take care, guys. So see you in two weeks. Bye.